Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I'm going to be explaining what the Access Control Allow Origin HTTP Response Header is. So, essentially, this right here is sent by the server in the response of an HTTP request, okay? And essentially, it's going to tell the web browser whether or not they're allowed to access a particular resource uh, based on the origin of the request. So, uh, when I say origin, essentially the origin refers to the scheme, the host name, and the port. So, the scheme is going to be either, in most cases, HTTP or HTTPS, um, and the host name is going to be uh, your actual host name. In this case, right here, my host name here is youtube.local. And the port is going to be, of course, the port of the origin. Um, and this case right here is going to be 80 hidden by default. So that right there is what makes up the origin. And um, the origin is obviously a very vital part to how um, the access control allow origin header works. So essentially, I'm going to be showing you um, a very, uh, very common uh, issue you're, uh, you're going to run into uh, due to the access control allow origin header and then how to resolve that issue or problem um, by actually setting this header on the server side. So um, let's just go inside the text editor right here and we can see I've got this index.html file. I've also got this directory called users. Inside here we have getusers.php. This PHP script is basically going to uh, print out a JSON string containing an array of users. So um, if I was to go inside the browser and go to that get users PHP file, we get this result right here, a JSON string containing a single user inside an array. So with this being said, let's make a request for this particular resource on uh, this index HTML file right here using fetch or Ajax. So let's go inside here and go to the script section and we're going to say fetch. We're going to fetch uh, users slash get underscore users dot php and then when the response comes back we're going to get the response object and we are going to um, say return response dot json to parse that json string then we're going to say dot then once we have the actual users array we're going to simply just console.log um, the array so console.log and then pass in users just like this okay cool so now saving this and refreshing gives us this result right here we can see in the console uh, the request was successful and of course we have our users so in this case right here What's happened is um, the web server did not send back an access control allow origin HTTP response header. So let's go inside the network tab in the developer tools, expand this real quickly here and inspect the actual request to the server. As we can see here under the response headers section, we do not have the access uh, control allow origin header specified. So in this case, essentially, um, you know, uh, the browser has seen that there was no uh, that there was no header sent back, um, but it also checked whether or not the origin um, of the actual request. So in this case, HTTP YouTube local on port 80, it checks if the origin uh, is the same as the request URL. As we can see here, the request URL is also HTTP YouTube local on port 80. So they're the same origin, which means the request came back and the browser has allowed the, um, the data to be received and of course used inside the JavaScript. So in this case, it is perfectly fine. Now, I'm going to be showing you one of the most common errors you're going to get when using Ajax or Fetch. And this one right here can be demonstrated by going back inside the index HTML and we're going to add um, or we're going to change the URL for the Fetch request to be an absolute URL. We're going to say HTTP, we're going to say YouTube.local, then uh, HTTP, then it's going to be access control allow origin then of course users get users so now we're giving the absolute path or URL for the resource save this and refresh and of course it still works perfectly fine um, because once again the origins are the same so it works fine however let's go inside this tab right here on this tab I have the exact same index HTML file however 
um, I'm using localhost on port 7479 instead of youtube.local. Now, keep in mind that this index.html file right here is the exact same file on my file system. However, I've configured my server to essentially allow access to these uh, to these directories for my tutorials on this right here and this right here. Okay, so essentially I can also say users and then get underscore users.php. It's the exact same thing. Anyway, let's go back inside here. In this case, on the refresh, we can see right here in the console we get access to fetch has been blocked because of the CORS policy. Okay, and it says here no access control allow origin header is present on the requested resource. That's obviously true, but in this case, the browser has seen that um, the origin of the request being localhost port 7479, um, that origin is not the same as what the request URL is. We can see here, of course, it is youtube.local and not localhost port 7479. Even though they refer to the exact same server, the origins are not the same, and this works on the origin level. So the browser has said, well, you haven't sent me this header and uh, the origins aren't the same, so it's gonna block the resource. It's as simple as that. So in order to allow access for this particular um, index HTML file to receive that JSON uh, uh, resource, we need to set the access control allow origin header to say to the browser, yes, you can actually access this resource. And basically, that is what the header is for. So, let's go inside the PHP, and we're gonna be adding the header. Let's go inside here and add the header just like this. We're gonna say, of course, access control allow origin, and set this to be an asterisk. This right here is basically saying that any origin can access this resource, and this is typically not recommended um, unless you actually want any origin to access your resource. So now, I'm gonna save this right here and then refresh, and we can see it works perfectly fine. Basically, the browser has seen the response header of access control allow origin uh, to be an asterisk, then I said, you know what, it's an asterisk, which means I can access it, no problems, and then it, of course, passes it down to the JavaScript. Um, I also want to mention that this particular rule here is only uh, enforced by the client or the web browser. So that means, um, as an HTTP client, you don't actually uh, need to, um, you know, uh, comply with this header. Obviously, um, you know, you should, okay, but technically speaking, nothing is stopping you from actually just still reading the response. So that means if you were to write like a Python script or something like that, um, you know, to actually uh, retrieve this through HTTP, nothing is stopping you from actually reading it, but you shouldn't. Um, and that's obviously specified um, in the spec, okay? But anyway, I just thought I'd mention that. Um, but now, I just want to show you um, real quickly here um, a different way or a better way to handle this scenario. So obviously, you don't want to make this so anyone can access this particular resource. So um, to do that, let's go back inside here and we're going to set this to an actual value. So here, you specify the allowed origin. Um, you can only specify one. You can't specify multiple origins. So with that being said, let's put inside here, HTTP uh, colon forward slash forward slash, and we're going to say, um, we're going to say localhost on port 7479. Okay, so in this case, uh, we've said the origin can be this right here. So now, of course, I'm going to save this and refresh, and it still works perfectly fine. Um, in the console, we get our users, okay? Um, so in this case right here, the browser has seen uh, the origin, and we can see that obviously the origin here, uh, the allowed origin, matches what's inside here, so it works perfectly fine. Um, okay, now... Because you can only specify a single uh, value for this header, um, 
it can be difficult when you want to allow multiple origins to access your resource. That's if you want to do that. If you want to only allow a specified amount of or select origins to access your resource, so for example, different websites, in that case, you need to implement some server side logic to actually um, you know, go ahead and um, allow those origins. So essentially, it just means that you're going to dynamically generate the value for this header. So let's do that right now uh, using PHP as the example. So uh, for this to work, I'm going to say if strpos, so string position, uh, server underscore HTTP origin, then I'm going to say JavaScript. So essentially right here, we are checking if the origin of the request contains JavaScript. So if it does not contain JavaScript, so equals equals false, then we are going to say yes, it's all good. You can access the resource and instead of putting this right here inside, we're actually going to append um, the actual value for server and then HTTP origin. Also, uh, if you don't know what uh, this right here is, basically um, it's, a P, uh, it's a PHP uh, variable which tells you the value of the origin HTTP request header. So with this being said, essentially we're saying that if the origin contains the word JavaScript, or sorry, does not contain the word JavaScript, then we're going to allow um, uh, the, uh, the origin to access the resource. So now saving this and then refreshing uh, works perfectly fine because this right here does not contain JavaScript. However, um, if I was to make this something like, let's say, uh, 7479 as the port, for example, right? Um, I'm going to save this and refresh and now we can see it did not work because of course in this case um, the HTTP origin contained 7479. Also uh, one thing to mention is that inside the network tab once again on the request we can see Chrome has sent through the origin header and basically this right here is where this value comes from. And um, yeah, that right there is the access control allow origin HTTP response header. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you later.